Hello, beautiful soul family. How are you? It's Michelle with Divine Scarpus. So, I'm being called to do a Twin Flame Energy Update for the Collective. I know it's been a while, but I've been busy. And I'm also really, really trying to focus on other energies that are coming forward through my mission. But it is my honor to give you this energy update. I've been called to do this all day. It's been a very busy day. However, I cannot finish my day without honoring the message that is coming through. So, Twin Flame, the 144,000 Divine Feminines, Divine Masculines, Star Seeds, Lightworkers, how are you, my love? So, we are in a very important time in our mission, and it's all about being comfortable with being uncomfortable. Please understand when I do these type of energy updates, I am not going into a love reading, nor am I talking about any codependent energy. I am referring to the mission and what is occurring in the energy as we are going through a really big shift in human consciousness, but also understanding why we are here. So take it as it resonates, of course. And uh, let's call in Yeshua, Mary Magdalene, Goddess Isis is here, and I'm going to call in Archangel Metatron to assist in this energy update. The dogs are barking because dogs spelled backwards with God, and there's a message that needs to come through to really ground the energy, that's what I feel like, ground the energy. So, <clears throat> the chariot. The lovers and the templates. Okay, I laugh because, of course, I always like to start off saying, I'm not speaking about the codependent energy, but the lovers is in the center. So it's understanding this journey as a twin flame yourself and understanding the motion of why you're truly here and why you were awakened to the twin flame journey while. The Two of Cups partnership is here. Okay, so let's get started. Let me talk about this energy. I'm going to pull energy in the center here for masculines. I'll ask for four cards, and then we'll bring the Divine Feminines forward on the top, and then I'm going to wrap it up. I don't need very much cards to give you the channeling. It's just here for physical confirmation, and of course, the pleasure of working with tarot and oracle decks. But I believe that today I'm only using tarot, so let's go. The chariot, guys, the chariot. There's going to be a lot of initiations through Atlantis and linear timelines through the motion of it's time to go. It's action forward. You are receiving initiations and downloads through that specific timeline. While my door is cracking open all by itself. It's time to go. The door has been opened point blank period through the motion of the initiation and the activation. The one thing that is very clear here, and I'm feeling like a lot of pressure in my um, breathing, so give me a second, let me get some water, because I do feel like a lot of us have to drink more water at this time. But I feel like I'm underwater and I'm having a scuba tank, so some of you may be feeling a little bit of that energy too. Portals, you know, I did create these decks, um, but it's the mermaid, but she's in her own little, yeah, her own little spaceship. But you're underwater for this, so there might be some, you know, take, maybe this will take your breath away. Whatever you're about to feel or whatever is happening, this may take your breath away. Understanding the lovers, the Gemini, understanding that duality energy, that communication. It's time to go. The door's opening. You know, allow this to come through. A lot of people are understanding that the twin was the catalyst to your mission. Yes, thank you. Your mission through the motion of temperance. You know, the temperance is a very beautiful yin and yang energy. It's really about, you know, mastering as above, so below. I, I feel that we need to ground something at this time through this specific energy. Okay. So. Let me talk to the masculine energy and give me four energies here. I will be breathing slow and deep, as you should when you're under the water, <laughs> in that oxy oxygen tank. There's the lovers and uh, the pool. The lovers. So, 
what's going on here? What is going on masculine? Please give us some energy. Masculine is an energy we all carry, so take it as it resonates. We have the Page of Swords. Um, this is the Oceanic Tarot. It says gossip. We have the Magician, which is the divine counterpart of the High Priestess, which I saw earlier shuffling. But this is about manifestation. Left palm is open to the sky to receive, to bring down the energy to ground. And then we have the Five of Pentacles, which is definitely a challenge, a change in understanding something through the abandonment issues. Maybe that's what you're healing. And then you have trust. The King of Pentacles, okay? I'm going to be walking away a little bit, guys, just doing my thing, moving my body. Um, but I just want to tell you that this is a very masculine energy. And there it is. There she is. There's the high priestess underneath the deck. I felt her earlier. So let me move this. Let me bring her forward. Um, and please understand, right, when you're dealing with the high priestess and the magician, this is a very powerful, intuitive connection. I did see the ace of swords, which is victory. But let me talk about the masculine energy here. Uh, the masculine energy right now is going through a huge understanding and a huge balancing in regards to abandonment issues and immaturity. The reason why I feel that very strongly is through the motion of the Page of Swords with the Five of Pentacles. That is very um, broken consciousness, old energy through the motion of talk, talk, talk too much. What I mean by that is that, you know, some of you are just really understanding that there was a lot of gossip maybe even in your own mind I'm picking up through the motion of the swords. A lot of, a lot of, um, okay, a lot of mental demons is what I heard um, in regards to this journey because of past inner child wounds. They're saying the masculine energy has been abandoned through the motion of an inner child wound. That's very, very realistic if this resonates for you. Um, but it's also understanding that you know, you have to embody the true form of who you are, which is the magician and the king of pentacles. So, you know, the magician is that magic. It's that wizard. It's it's the priest. It's a high priest energy as well, even though he's not present. There is, there is a hierophant energy present through the intuitive nature of the high priestess. Um, but the thing is, physically, you know, you, you're becoming king in the energy, right? It's being crowned by God. But there's also this energy of understanding that your twin, your divine lover, um, your catalyst, I'll say it like that as I'm being led, was the, it was the initiate for you to wake up and to understand that healing had to take place, okay? Because your ego and your pride through that gossip energy, AKA the voices, the demons in your head, um, were telling you different. Point blank, period. So masculine energy as an energy is going through some healing here through the abandonment, through some inner child energy. But on the other side of that coin, right, is beautiful manifestation. The magician has all four pentacle, excuse me, all four tools on the table. There's a fifth element, why his hands up, facing, because it's evil, God. Really understanding what is needed, you know, and that's how you're receiving trust. You might desire physical things like, you know, um, all the money in the world. <laughs> However, you know, you understand that the Five of Pentacles is also right next to it, meaning you can't take that with you through this energy. There's, there's that physical self and there's the spiritual self. Eternally, you can't take anything physical with you. It's all about your soul. So that's why I feel like there's a deep layer of healing here to realize that the King of Pentacles is here to ground the trust that you need as a divine masculine, aka you need to understand that your journey is through the spiritual world, not this physical world, okay? So I'm going to go into divine feminine energy and look what's underneath the deck, the hair font. <laughs> so let's see, you know, I love the confirmations. I see cards, I feel them. That's why I like to use tarot. But like I said to you, the energy is very present. So what I'm going to do for Divine Feminine Energy now is see what the four... 
pick the four cards that want to come out. I love this because it is the extra card in the deck. You are a badass being full of love, love, and possibilities. Can we get an amen? Amen. Through this deck, may you find a path to your best self. You know what? Divine feminines and masculine does for both of us. So let's just put that right there. But you know what? It's true. The divine feminine is really leading in that aspect, okay? So we have the Ten of Swords. Something is definitely done. The Nine of Swords. Okay, Divine Feminine is going through some stuff. The King of Wands and the Nine of Wands. Wow, Divine Feminine. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Pentacles. But I'm not going to keep it because we're going to represent the High Priestess here with that you are badass. But I do feel with the feminine energy specifically, there is an ending. It's done. It's finalized. So whatever this is to you, whatever you go, yes, it is done. That's what I need. That's your message, okay? Because to be honest with you, it's been keeping you up through the anxiety. It's been giving you deep anxiety at night and it's sleepless nights. It's worrying. It's it's just not fun, right? It's, it's also understanding that you too have... Uh, Mental battle, you have a mental demon within you as well, right? Because masculine and feminine is an energy, but now I'm speaking directly to those who resonate as divine feminines. This is why that card came out. You are a badass being. It's a reminder that no matter what you're going through on the mental journey right now, it's definitely something you need to understand because we have the king of wands and the knight of wands. Hello? Like, you talk about passion and action and just fiery energy, you know? The King of Wands is Leo. We're in Leo season right now. And the Knight of Wands is the one who's coming in full erect and fully quick, ready to come, give you something. This is what I'm feeling for the Divine Feminine Energy. There is a battle between their mental and passion and passion. So what is occurring is there is a mental battle within your masculine energy divine even though masculine energy is going through their own. But it's understanding that, you know, and this could be flipped. Please take it too, because the thing is, we all have masculine and feminine energy, but it's done. You know, you've made your decision. You've made your decision to move forward, the chariot. You've made your decision to let go of things that don't resonate in your energy field, for example. And I'm going to say it, it might trigger, but, you know, that's what I'm here for. So first of all, you're welcome for triggering me, because that's the only way growth does occur. That the twin flame journey is not exactly what you thought it was. It, it wasn't what you were awakened to. You know, you have to let that go and realize that whoever that catalyst is was about you being closer to God to remember who you are and to be on mission. Now, the King of Wands and the Knight of Wands, yeah, this could actually be a masculine energy um, through the motion of the lovers, but I truly do feel that this is you understanding that you have to lead through your heart. And As the magician and the king of pentacles for the masculine energy is present, I feel like the feminine energy is being really pulled in to being the lion and lioness through the passion projects. You have to look at what is creating passion in your energy field. That's where your mission is. That's where your mission is. Because for the masculine energy, it's about grounding the, the excuse me, the pentacles, grounding what you have through this abandonment issue, right? Because every time you do a healing, you have to ground it so it can be here with you. It can, it can hold that weight, right? That's why we gain weight and we lose weight so much on this journey because it's like you're doing this huge healing which is constantly happening and then you have to ground it and it's heavy and it, it weighs, right? We all go through that cycle. That's why it's so important that we lose the physical aspect of our eyes, meaning don't let the physicality be the only thing we see because I did post this. That's your first mistake. You see a body, that's your first mistake. The first thing you should see and feel is one's soul. So, I feel a little bit of weight gain in the energy, and that's why I probably also feel very out of breath. Um, but it's because there's a cycle that has completed through the motion and some healing here through this understanding. So I'm going to finish up here with um, my Mermaid Oracle deck. 
I had to yawn. Like, there's a lot of pressure. Like, we're diving deep, guys. We're diving deep. So, you know, um, I want to see what this message is for all of us. If this resonates for you, press like. Do share. The videos on YouTube is weak right now, so share it. I would appreciate it. Um, and by the way, y'all, I'll be back when I'm led. I'm going to try to do this once a month because now I'm not doing videos on YouTube as much anymore. But for these type of videos, once a month. Because the twin flame journey is annoying, right? Listen, I can say that as a twin myself, but it's because there's so much codependency in the twin twin journey. That's why I feel like this right here, that ten of swords with the ten, um, excuse me, the nine of swords, is saying it's done. That's that's an old way of thinking. You've got to understand that you were awakened on this path because that pain or that separation or the the catalyst alone was a, the gift. It was to awaken you through the lessons. Okay. Let's go deep into this. Yeah, see? Mm -hmm. Energy field adjustment or cleansing and health. I feel it. I feel like there is this re-collaboration and um, restoring energy here through your health. Through the health. And you guys, on the bottom of the deck is vulnerability. You know, it's a good reminder right now to be vulnerable. Yes, you are a badass. Yes, you are the shit. Yes, we are the bomb that come. Your vulnerability makes you more attractive. Open your heart. Allow yourself to be tender because you are the teacher. I saw tender, but I also saw teacher. So let me read it like that. Open your heart. Allow yourself to be teacher. Because <laughs> the only way for you to really understand vulnerability is understand that it's a huge teaching behind your vulnerability. It brings me to uh, Mary Magdalene and Yeshua as I did call them in, did I not? That's how they taught. They taught vulnerability, compassion, love. Because that's the only way to get through to people who are so caught up in fear so this energy field adjustment is coming through um it's definitely something that will be shifting in our physical body from our stomach to our heart space makes a lot of sense to me with the deep breaths breathe deep slow down everything is going to be okay everything's going to be all right everything's going to be okay you know we are on this journey together my loves and please understand that mission is being pushed more than ever right now. So I pray to God that you are on your mission as you're led and fulfilling your mission. Um, to those of you who aren't, then come through, which you're waiting for. Yo, like you are part of the twin flame journey, aren't you? Hello. <laughs> please remember who you are. You're doing great, though, honestly. Keep going. Love you.